Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Palomino Backpack Edition, the HS 750. The 750 is compatible with really any half ton truck and larger, a half ton, three quarter ton, or one ton truck. Also works with a five and a half, six and a half, or an eight foot bed. Um, to get started, you'll notice that we have the cool gray exterior color here. At the Outpost RV, we do stock all of our Palominos with that, as opposed to the Performance Glass, which is a white color. Um, the reason we go with cool gray is it actually adds an extra layer of protection. It is a gel-coated fiberglass, um, and it is considered an upgrade. Starting up top, you'll notice there's a little black box up there. It is pre-wired for an observation camera. You could add one of those, and it would allow you to see behind you the entire time as you're going down the road and while you're backing up. Uh, we do have the friction hinge door. There are no, no door latches anymore like there used to be. So the door opens and stays right where it is. And it's designed to withstand up to 20 miles per hour of wind. Also notice the large oversized grab handle to help you get in and out. And it does come with a roof ladder, which is for maintenance purposes to get up on the roof and maintain the caulk up there. Down below is where the dump is for the 750. Your sewer hose would attach to the right hand side and in that little compartment on the left is gonna be your gray handle and black handle. Your gray handle is for your gray tank, which would be like your shower water, and the black handle would be for the black tank, which is your sewage water. Uh, the 750 does come with electric jacks. There are one on each corner, and the remote, which I'll show you inside, has four different um, buttons on it, so you can adjust each jack individually to level the camper out, or you can actually run them all at the same time up and down once it is leveled out. Moving around to the side, you'll notice it does come with an outside shower, has hot and cold water, cable satellite hookup if you're parked at a campground that offers that, and it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord, and this camper is a 30 amp unit. A nice pass through storage with magnetic catch there, 110 outlets, your furnace, fresh water fill up top here. This would be used if you're going to be boondocking where you could fill the fresh water tank on the camper and use your water pump to use that water. Below that is a city water connection and that's where you would attach your, um, your water hose if you're at a campground to pressurize the water lines at, while you're there. Directly underneath that is actually the drain for the sink. So there is no, um, no tank for the sink water. It actually runs right out the side of the camper there so you could catch it in a tote um, and attach a garden hose and run it right down to that. Beside that is your water heater. It is an on-demand water heater, which means it is gas only. It is 70% more efficient than the ones we've used in the past. It uses next to nothing of gas because it's only burning it as you're using it. Moving around up front here, the camper comes with the exact same um, a port that's on your truck, the seven-way female end here. And then it also comes with a seven-way um, double male-sided cord. So this cord plugs right into the front here and it'll run all the way back to your truck and plug right in just like you would any trailer or boat. And that's what gives power to the camper for your clearance lights and charges the battery as you're going down the road. Beside that is gonna be a little solar prep. So if you have a portable solar panel, you could alligator clip it on there and keep your battery charged that way. Directly above is gonna be your 12 volt cutoff switch. You could turn that in the off position and it kills all 12 volt power to your battery. So that way your battery doesn't drain if the camper is going to be sitting there for a while. And over here, you'll notice a little holder. That's for your seven way cord. So when you'd want to use that is if you're going to go park it like a Walmart parking lot um, or anywhere where you're not going to be have the camper plugged in with your power cord, you would simply want to detach the seven way from here and hang it up. Because if you have it plugged into your truck, it could potentially drain your truck battery if the camper battery goes dead as well. And moving up front here, you'll notice the nice fiberglass cap up front here with a windshield. It gives it a very sharp look. Um, this is a new addition for the Palomino lineup on their mid-sized truck campers. And again, it is a very sharp look. You'll also notice the frameless windows. And we do have the one opened up back here so you can see there is cross ventilation and um, how those do open. This is your refrigerator vent. And we'll talk about the refrigerator a little bit more on the inside. And below that is a 20 pound LP tank, which will be filled by the Outpost RV. The 750 does have two outside speakers and those are currently lit up with blue lights in there. You do have outside and inside speakers. 
And I believe that concludes the exterior of the Palomino HS750, and now we'll move to the inside. All right, and moving to the inside, I did want to point out that on the friction hinge door here, there is a privacy curtain that goes up and down to close the window off, and there's also a screen door that you can close off uh, to keep the bugs out, but yet get a nice breeze inside. I'm going to show you the remote down here. This is for your electric jacks, and it has the four buttons on there. And this green light would have to be on for the remote to work. And the yellow buttons is what would run all the jacks at the same time. And the white buttons is what runs the jacks individually. So we're going to go ahead and get a nice visual on the inside here. We'll start with the kitchen area. And move around and show you up front in the bedroom here. Take a look at the windows up there. And your fridge. And we're going to move back and get started right here in this corner. So you'll notice as you walk in, there's a nice sofa here. It is a jackknife couch, which means it folds out into another sleeping area. And you do have some nice cup holders on either side. Overhead cabinet storage there. And your refrigerator is a three-way fridge. It is gas, 12-volt, and electric. The bed in here is an actual queen-size bed, a 60 a 60 by 80 bed. You do have speakers on both sides of the windshield up there and a privacy curtain to close at nighttime. You'll also notice a USB charge port over there and there's an emergency exit window. On the left hand side you do have some extra storage there followed by your entertainment center which is where your TV could go and it has all the connections there already and a charging center up top. Below that is your stereo it is a DVD, CD player, and Bluetooth compatible. One thing I wanted to show you directly above the bed is a power vent with three different speeds for some very nice um, air ventilation in here. Moving over towards the kitchen, it does have a single sink here, single bowl sink rather, with a nice wood covering for extra prep space if you need it. A storage cabinet up top, the microwave, a two burner stove and some storage below that. The black box there is your furnace. It is a 20,000 BTU furnace. Plenty enough to keep you warm even in the winter months. Over here is kind of your control station to check your tank levels, battery level, turn your water pump on. And if you ever added the optional power awning, the switch would be right there for it as well. On the left hand side there is your thermostat for the furnace. And on the right hand side is going to be your controls for the water heater. Um, that would be the on-demand water heater. Next up we'll take a look at the bathroom. It has a nice sliding door to it. This is what we call a wet bath where the toilet and shower is all one combination. So you would sit on the toilet there. That is an extra little storage area and then a nice little shelf. You'll also notice in the bathroom there's another vent fan up there and a skylight. We'll go ahead and just take a look at this one more time for you. And I believe that concludes the inside of the HS750. My name's Jeremy. Again, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thanks for watching and have a great day.